This episode, again, is about tires, so... It's a couple weeks later and it's freaking boiling hot today. Oh, it's like 95 degrees and uh, probably like 100% humidity. It's terrible. Anyway, I guess it's not terrible. I don't mind it that much, but I do mind it when I'm wearing a coveralls. So here you can see my recent acquisition. So I finally found a set of salad shooters, um, and they had tires. They're 255, 5016s, some pretty rad old school Goodyears on them. Had some ideas on uh, ways to kind of get around the 15 inch rim issue. Some guys, which I don't recommend, they, they grind down the caliper. Uh, to be able to fit a rim and that's not a good idea so for the most part almost always you don't want to be grinding your brakes with an angle grinder anyway anyway so um, I decided to not go after my huge 295 50 15 dream and so I was looking around for other stuff and I made the decision to uh, lower my lifted legacy right now it's only it's lifted an inch in the rear and two inches in the front and then i think i have a full inch of lift with the tires um, and because of all of that it doesn't really look lifted at all i'm gonna go low and i found these guys for 200 bucks they have brand new tires on there and uh there's about a thousand miles on these tires and the saw blades are, or the, the salad shooters are in really good condition. Super chromey, and uh, it's even, they already painted the, the inside of the salad shooter, which is what I like. So that's kind of what we're after. And right now, I'm measuring because Corvette rims are 5 by 4 and 3 quarter, which is 5 by 120.7 millimeters. And you can buy 5 by 100 to 5 by four and three quarter adapters and you can get them in different thicknesses and so that's what I'm gonna figure out right now is how thick you can do as little as about just of over a half inch to an inch and a half so these are the they're staggered so the fronts are 16 by eight and a half and the rears are 16 by nine and a half which works out really well because on this legacy the rears are inset the rear width is like three quarters of an inch uh, skinnier than the front. So by putting the big fat nine and a halfs on the rear and the eight and a halfs on the front, it should equal it out. And I don't need to buy different gapped spacers to have the same wheel poke. So I'm just going to measure the rears with my nine and a half. They're nine and a half, and I think they have a six inch back spacing. So if you want to know the offset, I'll show you here in a second. But do that conversion chart like I showed you earlier and I'm gonna figure out how thick I want it based on where I want it to sit in relation to the body or the wheel arch so for everybody's information again these uh, rims are some of the most informative uh, rims as in uh, in the casting that I've ever seen which is kind of funny so here we go, install right side only. We have, uh, again, it says uh, printed right hand, 16 by eight and a half with a 32 offset. Install right side only. Install right side only, install right side only. Um, now if you didn't know, Corvette rims are directional and staggered. So the wider ones go in the rear and then they're directional, it's designed to scoop air in onto the brakes. So that's why you want to run them in the right direction. You don't have to, obviously, but that's kind of the way they're designed is to, you can see this kind of impeller shape 
on the inside and that's how saw blades are as well and they, they have these little gaps here to be able to suck air on in and onto your uh, brakes which I think is really cool that's still a little too flush for me I'm wanting them spaced out a little more because that's like perfect flush fitment and I want it wide so I think I'm gonna do inch and a quarter if I get inch and a quarter adapters and I have a six and a half inch offset backspacing sorry then six and a half five and a quarter five and a quarter which would be good I think that gives me another half, half an inch maybe uh, poke in that, and that would be fine by me so that's what I'm looking at doing a piece of uh, a two by four or a, a piece of wood that's cut to the thickness of the adapter just kind of sliding it in there and uh, doing your offset kind of that way um, there's also some offset calculators online which will tell you how far out um, your tire will sit and things like that it'll also tell you how far off your speedometer is it's like a new wheel adapter um, little program that's online they're really useful as well um, but I always like to see it on the car so worth it in my opinion because I do again I like the way those look on the car so yeah that will be it for this episode yeah that's kind of where we're at if you guys have any other questions please uh, feel free to drop a comment let me know um, I'll do my best to answer all your questions and uh, yeah thumbs up if you like the Corvette rims if nothing else they're wide that's kind of one of the main reasons I like Corvette rims like I was saying you can find them cheap uh, and they're stock good quality and they're wide <laughs>